when you are buried in debts, the decision to file bankruptcy can be even more daunting because there are two chapters of the bankruptcy code available to individuals, Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 bankruptcy. If you file Chapter 7 or 13, you will receive protection from your creditors and relief for your debts. Whether you file for Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 will depend on your debts, your goals in filing bankruptcy, and your assets. If you file Chapter 7 bankruptcy, you must turn over your assets that are not protected by the state exemptions. Therefore, if you have valuable property not covered by the exemptions, you might want to consider filing Chapter 13. When you file Chapter 7, you will receive a discharge of debts after your assets are turned over to be liquidated. The benefits of Chapter 7 bankruptcy is that you can get relief from your debts and protection from creditor harassment. Chapter 7 is the cheap and quick way to discharge your debts. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy can be over in as little as four months. The court will enter a discharge and you will no longer be bankrupt. Chapter 13 bankruptcy is beneficial for those debtors who have assets that are not protected by the bankruptcy exemptions. When you file Chapter 13, your debts will be reorganized into an easy payment plan that lasts three to five years. Your creditors will usually accept a Chapter 13 repayment plan because they will be better off than if you file Chapter 7. Chapter 13 can allow you to consolidate high interest payments into a low interest payment, and in certain cases, you can repay less than you owe. Chapter 13 is especially appealing for those who are behind on mortgage payments because it is possible to stop foreclosure and keep your vehicle and other assets. The debtor must make all of their payments under the Chapter 13 plan to be discharged from bankruptcy.